today we're going to take a look at pretty much the only reason I hand polish things, which is underneath door handles. It's not uncommon for door handles to be scratched up just like this leaf here, and a lot of people really can't stand this eyesore. Let's go ahead and get to correcting this quickly and easily with just a couple of products. Fortunately, this process is actually fairly simple and only uses three products really. The first one is your cleaner and clay bar. The second is your compound, which in my case is McGuire's Ultimate Compound, and then the wax of your choice. Start off by spraying down the area with your cleaner and lubricant, and then remove any surface level contaminants with your clay bar. Depending on the type of car handle you're working with, this whole process can be a bit annoying, but you can always lever out the door handle to give yourself a little bit more room to work. After wiping off the cleaner from your clay bar, it's time to move on to the compound. I prefer to use a round microfiber pad, but you could just as easily use a microfiber cloth or terry cotton towel for this. Make sure to shake up your compound and then put about a dime to quarter sized amount of compound onto your pad. I accidentally put a bit too much as my bottle exploded a bit, but that's fine. Begin to work the compound underneath the door handle in small, circular, and back and forth motions. Due to limited range of motion, it is a bit difficult to do this, but just keep working the compound until it's completely worked into the surface. This will probably take one to three minutes, just depending on the condition of the paint and the ambient temperature. If you haven't gotten the results you want after one pass, go ahead and add another small dime sized amount of compound to your pad and go in for round two. For most cases, you only need two passes to remove 95 to even 100% of the scratches left by nails underneath a door handle. Now I did try to reduce the black spot some and it would eventually come out a bit better if I chose to focus on it some more. However, it is actually a bit through the paint there so continuing to work the area could cause more damage so I left it as it was. Once you're done, go ahead and wipe off the remaining compound and inspect your work. Once you're happy, go ahead and apply your wax of choice, which I did not include doing in this video, and you're done. Thank you. 
As always, if you like the content I'm putting out, make sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, and don't forget to hit the notification bell to stay up to date with new content as it comes out. Thanks so much for watching. Take care.